This is Dave Helling of the Kansas City Stars Des Moines Bureau. We're here, of course, have been here for a week. We'll be here for the next week leading up to the Iowa caucuses. And uh, this is an analysis of the last town hall meeting involving the three primary Democratic candidates, Martin O'Malley, uh, Bernie Sanders, and Hillary Clinton. Uh, it was on CNN on Monday night. Uh, it's the last chance, really, uh, Iowa voters will have to judge the three candidates, Democrats anyway, as they head to the caucuses on February 1st. Let's go in order. Let's start with Bernie Sanders, who went first in the town hall meeting. I thought by far he was the most relaxed of the three candidates on the stage Monday night at Drake University. I thought his uh, answers were well rehearsed. Certainly uh, the kind of thing that Democrats, activist Democrats, particularly in this state, but in others as well, will find uh, encouraging uh, in terms of what he had to say to them. For example, he talked about Medicare for everyone. He talked about a $15 minimum wage. He talked about free college tuition. All of that he's discussed before, but that's the kind of thing that will get Democrats excited. The problem for Bernie Sanders is uh, when people begin to focus on the practicality of those promises and other things that he had to say, they may, uh, may be, at, at least in future uh, primaries, a little less enthusiastic about his presidential candidacy. Having said that, we, uh, we saw on Monday night why Bernie Sanders has gone from 5% in the polls to a virtual dead heat with Hillary Clinton. His debate style was very relaxed, very conversational. I thought he did fairly well. Uh, Martin O'Malley went second, the former governor of Maryland. Uh, in any other year, he, his campaign, his debate performance, or town hall performance might have been better received, but it's just not a good time for his kind of classic uh, democratic approach to problems. Uh, I think Democrats, and for that matter all voters, are looking for something different, and perhaps Martin O'Malley is not the person, at least in this uh, election year, uh, that can uh, provide that. And finally then Hillary Clinton. A couple of things. I thought she was uh, too loud, too aggressive, uh, too anxious to please. Um, you know, I think that she is concerned that her followers don't have the energy that, Mar uh, that uh, Bernie Sanders' uh, followers have, and so she's trying to fire them up and get them excited about her candidacy. And, uh, you know, you can understand why she has that strategy, but uh, tough to execute. Um, she's all about competence and, and, and having been there and experience, not so much about excitement or drama, and uh, so I think that 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 note sort of clashed a little bit in her appearance. She was the only candidate to talk a lot about uh, 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 foreign affairs, so that was good and interesting and important for her as well. But again, I thought she was just a little aggressive. And then she talked a lot about her experience. One of the maxims of politics is voters don't really vote about the past, they vote about the future. And I thought she might have spent a little more time talking about what she wanted to do rather than what she has done. And that, I think, was a bit of a failing in her, in her uh, appearance as well. You might see the color shifting tonight. That's because the TV set is still on here at the Iowa Bureau, so the pictures are changing a little bit, and that's why the color on my shirt seems to be adjusting a little bit as well. We're one week away from the uh, caucuses as I speak to you on Monday night, February 1st. The Republicans had their own debate on Thursday. We'll be back with an, uh, a video analysis of that exchange uh, on Thursday. For now, at the Iowa Bureau, Dave Helling with the Kansas City Star.